Hello there. I heard you want to learn a few basics on tweening in a light motion. Well, I've got you covered. First, you're going to want to get the pieces for your awk. Do this by screenshotting and cropping each body piece. Then open your glorious app, a light motion. Create a new project and then adjust however you like. I usually do four to three and a white background, but you can do any to find your match. Now that you have your workspace ready, get your audio and screenshots into the project. Lengthen all your pictures to where you want it to stop or until the end of the audio or recording. Now you have to put the pieces together. Do this by making the full body picture of your aux opacity go down and then you can start placing everything where it's supposed to be. Lil Montage cause why not? Good job. Now we can get to my favorite part, tweening the actual aux. Double tapping this button can help you reach something called pivot point. This helps with tweening when it comes to rotation or movement. With pivot point. Without pivot point. Remember to add pivot point to all your body pieces and not be an idiot like me. Now that you have your pivot on every body piece we're excluding Bella right now, you can start using the parenting tool, which is at the top left corner. Connect everything with its pair. For example, lower arm with upper arm and upper arm with torso. Hair with head and head with torso. Lower leg with upper leg and tail with torso. Now, when you do this, you will see that if I move the upper arm, the lower arm follows with. On to keyframes. This is basically the thing you need so you can actually start tweening in the first place you'll find the keyframe button near the right corner of your screen. By using the keyframe, you'll see the body parts will move to that position. To help keyframes, there are things called graphs. Graphs help the movement of the keyframes, making it faster or slower. My idiot self realizing the body pieces aren't connected. Just wanted to show this back-breaking moment. Now tween the other parts of your body. If you paired up the right pieces, you should end up having your torso have every body part connected. Remember, don't connect the legs to the torso or else it'll look weird. There's also another graph you can use to help add better effects to your awk. This graph looks like a roller coaster. Do some last minute adjustments, or just follow me. I don't know how to explain this. Now you know the basics. Moving the torso holds the other items. But remember, if you connect the legs, it'll follow the rotation of the body. And you wouldn't want that if you want your ox standing in one area or spot. Results? Bye-bye. Never ask for a tutorial again. Tai-yai.